Adam Glazer, and I'm a second year PhD student um, here at the Thayer School of Engineering working with Brian Pogue. Um, and our lab group is focused on using optics in medicine. And my specific uh, research topic is using optics uh, with respect to radiation therapy. So right now we're at the Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center in the radiation oncology suite. So when these linear accelerators are used for treatment, um, the radiation beam will impart a, a three-dimensional dose distribution in the patient. And it's a lot more difficult to quantify this type of dose. It's not the same as a syringe injecting some sort of medicine into a patient. This is a much more abstract thing. And so what they currently do is they use um, a commercial device such as this uh, radiation field analyzer here. And what they'll do is they'll fill it with water, um, which is very similar to tissue. And then they'll scan an ionization chamber, which can measure the dose at one point in space. And they'll scan it in all three dimensions to slowly build up what this three-dimensional dose distribution from the beam is. Um, and now the problem with this technique is that it's very time consuming. And to do one of these three-dimensional profiles would probably take over a day. And so what we've been looking at is using a new type of radiation field analyzer, um, which we've built here. And so we would fill our tank with water in much the same way as the commercial device. Um, but what we would do is we would take advantage of the fact that as the radiation beam enters the water, there's optical light given off by something called the Cherenkov process. And so this optical light is directly proportional to the dose. And so if we use a camera set up um, here to look at the, the tank from one side, we can actually take an image of this light and try and backtrack what the dose is. And so we're hoping that one image might take 30 seconds to a minute, and we'll have to take maybe 100 to 180 images. So it could maybe be an hour or two, as opposed to a, over a day. So this particular setup here was entirely designed and built by um, a senior at the Thayer School of Engineering, um, David McClatchy. With the collaborative environment at Thayer and our particular group's focus on engineering and medicine, um, we bring together mechanical engineering in terms of building this setup, um, but also a knowledge of biology and medicine to understand uh, the field we're trying to impact, and then also physics to understand the different physical processes going on with the radiation beam, and then for any grad student here, there's a lot of computer programming in terms of analyzing your data and writing software to acquire your data. Mm -hmm.